The latest victim of an incident involving occupational safety is 23-year-old Terrell Matura, a father of a toddler daughter. Matura was doing some electrical work at a residence at mile 8 of the George Price Highway and needed to climb an attic in order to get the work done. That was when tragedy occurred. But Matura and many more that perform dangerous tasks do not need to die on the job. Isai Che is an electrical instructor at the IT vet in Belize City. Sometimes electricians have the misunderstanding that it, it's only because it's 110 volts, you, this, might, this might not hurt you, right? Okay. But uh, we must have very clear that um, it's not really the voltage that kills you, it's a current. So, there is a, so even a small amount of current can kill you. So we must have that very clear that we must adhere to safety at all times, right? Even if it's a small voltage, small current, you always emphasize on safety. Whenever you already have di diagnosed the problem and you want to make corrections and so forth, you must de-energize the panel, no? Which so is turn off the breaker? Turn off the breaker, correctly. Safety means turning off potentially dangerous connections before making the changes or adjustments necessary. And perhaps most important of all is wearing protective gear. Use your proper protective equipment, right? PPEs. And so these include what? These include um, using your helmet, right? Your vests, okay? Especially whenever you're on the job site, you want people to know, to identify, you know? And that's one also. And also your gloves, you want your safety gloves, because whenever you're, you're working with energized equipment, you want to have your, um, your, 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 your safety gloves, okay? Also using the proper tool for the proper job. President of the NTUCB, Luke Martinez, is an avid proponent of the Occupational Safety and Health Bill, otherwise known as the OSH Bill. He explains that the OSH has standards that protect employers and employees. It protects the worker, it protects the employer, and it also protects the customer, right? In a situation where you have workers being injured on the job, and sometimes because of the negligence, this bill also protects the worker uh, from his or her own negligence, right? So um, it's going to be a case where uh, if you are injured uh, because of your negligence, for example, you have PPEs, the sector that you're in, uh, it, it has certain standards, health and safety standards, and you don't follow these standards um, and the policies that comes along with it, then of course, uh, the, 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 the worker would then have to face whatever um, penalty that comes with it. A common practice that is negligent is when some people decide not to ground electrical appliances. At all times we must try to ground all fixtures, right? That's why we must have our ground wire. Sometimes electricians tend to ignore it because they say that the fixture outlet still works no? without the ground. But there is a reason behind having a ground, okay? Because, you know, in, a, in an electrical fault, the ground wire is right there because the, the entire system is grounded. So if the entire system is grounding, are you getting contact with, 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 the with, with, with the appliance or so? The grounding system is what protects us as humans, no? From the moment you ignore it, that becomes a hazard. The Ministry of Labor has now completed and shared the draft work document for the OSH bill, and Martinez said that they are now reviewing the document with their various affiliates. Marion Ali for News 5.